So it turns out that Star Wars 1313 and the proposed Star Wars live action TV show may not actually be dead. So this is crazy exciting news to me, and of course I couldn't miss an opportunity to, t to talk about this because it's Star Wars, it's video game related, it's the time to be excited for Star Wars, and this is just super badass news. So a lot of you probably remember when, uh, a couple of years ago, a game called Star Wars 1313 was revealed and showed at E3. It was gorgeous, it was on Coruscant, you were playing as some sort of bounty hunter. We didn't know too much about it, but it was very dark and gritty, which nowadays people just love the dark and gritty when it comes to Star Wars. Even though I feel like people People are sort of forgetting really what makes Star Wars great in the first place. The cheesiness and the campiness and even kind of the kid-friendly sort of family-oriented stuff really is part of the true spirit of Star Wars. Um, but that being said, still the darker and grittier, more adult-themed stuff is also fantastic and works very well for a lot of the Star Wars lore and presentations. Take a look at the uh, Revenge of the Sith and The Empire Strikes Back, two very dark Star Wars films that are still awesome and kind of because they're pretty dark. So a nice balance is needed when it comes to Star Wars. When you looked at what was happening with Star Wars 1313, it was on the darker, grittier side, and it looked fantastic. People were calling it Uncharted only in the Star Wars universe, and it looked super Super, super cool. Well, for those of you who might not be aware, what was actually happening with Star Wars 1313 is around the time that development on that began. Remember, this is before George Lucas retired and sold Lucasfilm to Disney, um, and also before a brand new trilogy of films was officially planned, even though he had ideas in his head around that time. He hadn't put anything to paper and wasn't talking to the cast or anyone about actually starting a new film. Um, and around that time, he was also very publicly in the middle of pre-production on a Star Wars live-action television series, which had kind of like a temporary tentative name of Star Wars Underground. It was also going to be on the darker, grittier side. He planned it for about 400 episodes. He had around 100 episodes. The story treatment's already written out. It was going to take place mostly on Coruscant, showing that more underground, seedier side of Coruscant and what was going on. Kind of uh, building off of what was shown in Attack of the Clones when Anakin is chasing after Zam Wessel before they go into that little pub area. He, he really liked what was sort of hinted at in that scene and wanted to go further into what it was like, what life was like on Coruscant, really, for all the regular people and the people who were slumming it. And that was the purpose of the Star Wars Underground live-action TV series that he started. But that was a very ambitious project. Pre-production did start actually at his home, but they ended up having to kind of cancel the plans and, you know, it was kind of a wait-and-see thing. Uh, and then, of course, a couple years later, he ended up deciding to retire before anything else really came out of it. But something else that was happening with that live-action TV series was the production of Star Wars 1313, the video game, which was kind of tying into and further exemplifying what that idea was. It was They were kind of supposed to work in tandem, I believe. The show was showing Coruscant Life, and the game was going to show Coruscant Life, and there might have even been characters kind of crossing in and out. By the time production on the game had started, uh, the show had sort of already had its plans tentatively canceled. Canceled. So the team at LucasArts at the time had actually taken some of the assets and plans and, and sort of the tone and feel of what was happening with the show and was infusing it into this new game, Star Wars 1313. That, of course, then brings us to the point where Star Wars 1313 was canceled right after Lucasfilm was sold to Disney when Disney decided to close LucasArts down before we knew what was going to happen with the gaming side of Star Wars. And 1313 was canceled and it was the worst goddamn news ever. Not too long after that, of course, Electronic Arts picked up 10 years of licensing rights for Star Wars video games. We all know that that has first turned into Star Wars Battlefront, which came out just about a month ago. And we don't know any other future gaming plans yet for Star Wars. But again, 1313 was canceled through that and it was such tragic news and we were all super sad about it. And I was so pissed. I was so angry at Disney and I was angry at EA and I was angry at everybody. But now comes the news from, you know, Lucasfilm president herself, Kathleen Kennedy, who's just a fantastic, wonderful woman. I love her. Very happy with George Lucas's decision to pass it on to her, her, his very, very close good friend for the last many years, and say, I trust Lucasfilm to you, while also kind of putting Lucasfilm under this parent company of Disney, of all companies. So she's a great, great woman and a great person to be running Lucasfilm and in charge of the future of Star Wars currently, as evidenced by how badass The Force Awakens looks. And so there was some recent talks in an interview she was having with Slash Film about Star Wars Underground, the TV show, and more importantly, Star Wars 1313, the game. So there's a couple of quotes that are kind of put in some weird places here, but I'm going to read them to you. 
she says again it's it sounds out of context because of where the quotes pick up but just do your best to follow she says no interestingly enough that's an area we've spent a lot of time reading through the material that he developed is something we very much would like to explore and then there was the 1313 game which was and then someone else interjected and she comes back to say continuing her conversation about 1313 she says Un so our attitude is we want to throw out we we don't want to throw any of that stuff away sorry guys um it's gold and it's something we've been spending a lot of time looking at and pouring through and discussing and we may very well develop these things in the future we definitely want to do it so she's talking about basically the show and of course 1313 and the fact that she's willing to say, hey, you know, we see what was being worked on. We see what what George was putting in place for the show and how that was going to build into what was happening with this game and how they were going to tie in together. She can tell the material is fantastic. She apparently loves what they can see, what, what was... And obviously, there was a lot started. I mean, if pre-production started, that means Lucas had the story group and Pablo Hidalgo and all the other folks who work at Lucasfilm to actually start, you know, drawing up concept art, maybe looking at casting, getting, you know, models and, and CG things built, you know, all the, all the miniatures and stuff because they were going to start filming in Lucas's backyard at Skywalker Ranch as crazy as that is so all there was obviously a team of people at Lucas are uh, Lucas film sorry that Lucas was working with to start the show and that's how they had assets to start creating 1313 now everything's moving forward Lucas has retired Lucas film is, is owned by Disney Kathleen Kennedy is in charge episode 7 is coming out next week and the next of the trilogy and the new anthology films are going to start rolling out over the next couple of years Star Wars is in full swing again so why not start looking at what Lucas put in place for the show I love the idea of the show coming back because I always was excited for it whenever George Lucas would talk about it and this freaking game Star Wars 1313 there's something to be said this game could be fantastic and you know Kennedy is, uh, is able to say hey this stuff is fantastic why do we want to just not bring this back to life I mean I know that you know, LucasArts was closed, and so now EA has licensing rights, and there's no official Lucasfilm-owned entity that's making Star Wars video games, but why couldn't the assets for Star Wars 1313 be handed off to them, or at the very least, just the, the, the concept, the story draft elements that Lucas himself created, give this to the team, <clears throat> and let them move forward with this game. Obviously, there's something to be said. Everyone was excited. Everyone wanted to know about it. It only had public knowledge in existence for, like, I don't know, it feels like four or five months. It was like shown at E3. We saw one more small clip a couple months later, I think. And then within another couple months after that, it was gone. All of a sudden it was canceled because you know, Disney is dumb and shut down LucasArts. So will this game officially return alongside of the TV show? It's hard to say for sure, but I don't think that these are empty words from Kennedy. I think that she very much means to say, we acknowledge how great this material is and what was happening with these projects. We want to continue them. We don't want them to go away. Lucas had fantastic things he was putting in place. Star Wars 1313 could be a wonderful video game. Let's make this shit. <laughs> That's basically what she's saying. So personally, I'm going to hold on to hope that over the next year or two we actually get a reveal or a confirmation that you know star wars 1313 is coming back i think it's be a great game to make right now i really want to know we all need to know what ea is doing with the star wars license beyond battlefront and all this flipping dlc that they're bringing out battlefront is fantastic you've heard me talk about it i love the game but i really want them to start doing other things as well i want to see prequel era stuff come out i would like to see games revolving around all the characters i guess you can do old republic even though it's been done to death you know start covering some material in a video game around the era of the new trilogy maybe covering more of the time between um, Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. There's so much to do there. And 1313, I think... Now, the TV show was taking place between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, so I would gather that 1313, the initial version of the game that we saw, was also probably going to be taking place around that same time. So if they want to continue that and do that going forward, that's great. Um, we do, of course, have the Star Wars Rebels TV show, which is covering some of that time as well. It's the genesis of the Rebellion happening in that show. Um, but hey, you know, make the game 1313 telling a different story on Coruscant in the same period or change the time period that it's being told. I mean, Coruscant, you can explore any era of time on Coruscant and get a good idea of what's happening with the politics and, you know, the Republic, the Empire, the First Order, which is what we're going to be seeing in the new trilogy. There's so many different aspects and timelines you can cover now. 
uh, with 1313 that I would just like to see what EA can do beyond just emulating the original trilogy and making, you know, the simple Battlefront game that they've done. What else are you guys doing, Electronic Arts? Where else are your 10 years of licensing rights for Star Wars going? You can't just make one stupid game and a bunch of DLC. We want a lot of different things. I, at least, want a lot of different things coming out of Star Wars gaming. So let's see what's going to happen there. I personally am very optimistic that both the Star Wars TV show and 1313 will be resurrected. Kennedy doesn't mess around. I trust her completely. So it'll be exciting to see what happens. So tell me what you guys think. Um, is it exciting for you to think of 1313 and or the TV show coming back to life? Do you want to see this game? Do you, do you, does it make you excited to think that this could happen? Maybe you aren't interested. I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts. Talk all things Star Wars below. Thank you so much for tuning in. This, of course, is Rob Overlook to Review, and I'll catch you guys next time on another video.